What's going on, everybody? How you doing? It is Coach MT back with some more great uh, value today for you. Uh, we're coming both. We're coming to you at the on the podcast and here on YouTube. So enjoy the value. So today I decided to come in my T-shirt. I got my Tim's on because uh, today we're gonna be talking about some some rugged stuff. All right, gonna talk about some rugged stuff. So uh, let's get ready now. One thing I want to talk about today, and this may offend somebody or may offend some people, especially women, but you know, it's okay. And I'm a man. I'm not here to offend, but I'm here to ruffle some feathers. Today, we're going to talk about getting your balls back. All right. Getting your balls back when it comes to creating the financial life that you want. Okay. Now, I've been in the whole entrepreneurial um, industry since 2002, and I have experienced uh, a lot. I have seen a lot. I've seen a lot of people come. I've seen a lot of people go. I've seen a lot of people have great success. I've had some people have great success and lose everything. But there's one thing that remains constant through everything, especially for those who got to where they want to be, is that they have balls. All right. They have balls and courage to keep going. So I want to tell you today, if, if you're not where you want to be financially, then it is your fault. Okay. It is 1000% your fault. You need to get off your ass and do something different. Okay. I, I have a lot of clients that I work with that complain about everything else except for the things that they need to do. All right. And they want right now results. They spent five, 10, 15, 20, 30 years effing up their financial situation. And then they find somebody like myself or anybody else out there who's helping them and they want results right now. Okay. I'm going to tell you like this. It is going to take some time. It's going to take time. It's going to take action and it's going to take focus. All right. You're going to have to grab yourself by the balls and, and, and be willing to do something different. You're going to, have to read things different. You're going to, have to be hanging around different people. You're going to, have to be listening to different things. You got your whole, all of your actions are going to have to be different than what you've already been doing. You're going to, have to turn the television off. You have to get rid of those negative friends. You have to get rid of those negative family members. You have to get rid of that negative spouse. I'm, I listen, I'm being serious. I, li listen, maybe not get rid of, but put them on a season of separation. If they can't understand that you're looking to make some moves and, you, and you're looking, and I just has to do anything with finances. I'm talking about your life, period. You got to get rid of them. I, I, hey, I know you got kids together. I know you got a house together, but this is your life. This is your life. Yeah, you're, you're, you're looking at somebody that got rid of their spouse. And I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm saying it because I had a purpose. I had things I wanted to do. And at that time, my spouse was not listening, not helping, not supporting. All right. And as I'm as I'm saying this right now, uh, she's getting her she's getting her act together as we speak. If she's watching this right now, or whoever's watching that knows me or listening. Yeah, she's getting her act together because she she's seeing the, the, the changes. Okay. Now, sometimes they get to act together. Sometimes they won't. Doesn't matter. The thing is that this is on you. This is your life. So whether you're a man or whether you're a woman or whatever, you're looking at this, you got to grab your balls and do something different. There is so much information out here. So many books, too many people for you to be in your same situation. I don't care where you came from. I don't care how you grew up. I don't care what happened to you. I, listen, there is help to get you past that point. If you were in an abusive relationship, there's help for that. Go get the help. If you were abused as a kid growing up and, and you're like, oh my gosh, it's affected my life. Go get some help. Get that stuff cleared up first and then move on to the next stages of your life. Okay. If you've been broken, poor your whole life, go get some help. OK, if you if you had it all at one point and you lost and you sitting around being all sad and like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? Get off your ass and go get some help. OK, take if, 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 if you're looking to get here and you have things in your life and, and, you know, you're looking to get to that next level and you have a blockage in your life, go get rid of the blockage first. You can't move to the next level with the blockage in the way okay it's just like you know in sports or you know if you if you got defenders in your way 
you gotta find you you need somebody to, to, to either block them or you have to find a way to go around them but they're in your way for the first down or for the goal or whatever it may be go get the blockage done well coach i don't have the money for that yes you do because you have money for all the other stuff that you're doing instead of handling your, your 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 challenges handling that trauma now i know you said it's easier said than done no it's not go do it instead of taking the money and and spending it on alcohol spending it on drugs spending it on cigarettes spending it on sex spend on everything else that's preventing you from getting rid of that blockage take that money and invest in yourself to get rid of the blockage grab your balls grab whatever all right and take care of that Stop going out, stop going golfing, stop shopping, stop hanging out with stupid people and take that money and get rid of the blockage. I, and however long it takes, six months, a year, all right? Don't let it go past the year. Don't let the 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 time you take with your, your therapist or whoever's helping you, don't let it go past the year, okay? If you're going past a year, I'm still in therapy, then you really don't want any change. Now you're using the therapy as your blockage. Go in there. Get the help you need. Apply the things. It's, you're, you're not going to get rid of it 100%. I'm just going to let you know personally. Whatever that blockage is, you're not going to get rid of it 100%. It's always going to be there. What you're going to gain is what you're going to gain is tools to help you handle it when things start to bubble up. All right, because it's, it's, it's always going to be because it's a part of you. That abuse is a part of you. Though That negative talk is a part of you. It's always going to bubble up. But now you have tools to handle it. All right, one thing my father always said, know what you're dealing with so you know how to deal with it. Okay, you're, you're getting tools to know how to deal with it. So when that stuff starts bubbling up, you're like, wait a minute. We, we, we're gonna push that. We're, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that. Okay, we're gonna not push it back down. But if you feel it bubbling up, you're like you know, you just go. Hey, hey, I know what to do to handle that, so you can keep going on. All right. Now, if you have dealt with that and you're ready to get to this next thing, you got to grab your balls again and get the help that you need. Get the knowledge you need. Go read the books. Apply the information. Okay, because this is your life and you don't want to have any regrets you want to get laid on in life and say oh i wish i would have if it wasn't for this person if it wasn't for that no it's you it's you it's your ass yes it is it's you you're not where you want to be because of you now if you are where you want to be it's going to be because of you all right wherever it is it all starts with you it starts with you you are the source and what you bring into your life now of course there's a source greater than you all right and and for me it's god or for you it's whatever you believe in but we all know that there's a source that's more powerful than us that is your source okay and whatever you decide to bring into your life then now that yeah, you become the source of what comes out of you all right you get the source the information the the, the power all right and then you decide what you want to put out but you have to grab your balls and stop letting all these outside things determine where you want to be. If, again, if you're not where you want to be, it's because of you. Now, I know you don't want to hear this. I know you want to blame your, your spouse. You want to blame your significant other. You want to blame your parents. You want to blame your boyfriend. You want to blame your girlfriend. You want to blame society. You want to blame COVID. You want to blame the government. They have nothing to do with that. Your life is 90% is 10% what happens to you. 90% how you react to it. 10% what happens to you, 90% how you react to it. Your reaction is the most important thing. Not what happens, right? The same wind blows on us all. The same wind, the same, the, the wind of social change, the wind of disaster, the wind of, 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 of pandemic, the wind of the economy going down, the wind of economy going up, the same wind blows on everybody. What determines your outcome is how you set your sail. And you, and, and you setting your sail is if you have blockages going to get help. Okay. You, you, things that happen to you that's, that, that, were, that were traumatizing to you, you're going to get help. All right. Focusing your money and efforts on getting rid of the blockage. That's setting your sail differently. Now the blockage is gone. Guess what? Now you can breathe and, and think differently. Then you go to the next thing. 
All right. And then if you if you need help there, you 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 focus your money and your time and energy on that. All right. And so and, and you're always investing in yourself. Find the information, the source. It, it could be a book, it could be God, it could be whatever. It could be a mentor, it could be a coach, and then applying that to your life and then letting the fruits bear. But it's, it's, it's going to start with you. If you're sitting around all day complaining and, and, and hoping things change, right? And, and just like, oh my gosh, I, did, I, I wish the government would change. I wish taxes would change. I wish all of the change. All right? Don't wish things were easier. Wish you were better. Don't don't wish things were easier. Wish for better. Wish, wish 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 you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. You don't need less problems. Problems will help you grow. You need more skills to deal with those problems when they come because they're gonna come, right? They're gonna come. Even in the Bible it says, "No weapon formed against me shall prosper." It didn't say the weapon wasn't gonna be formed. It just said it wasn't gonna prosper. And the way it doesn't prosper is having more skills to deal with those problems. Financial challenges are going to come, right? A, a, an unknown financial challenge is going to come. It's being ready when it comes. I'll give you a prime example. I have middle schoolers and high schoolers, and they thought it was smart enough to take the car, start it up, and hit the gas, and they ran into the back of somebody. All right, nobody got hurt, but kids, they do stupid stuff, right? But I was prepared for that. Me and their mother were prepared for kids doing stupid stuff because we had the conversation. Hey, one day these kids are going to do stupid stuff. Let's be ready. Guess what? We had to pay for stuff out of pocket. Boom, boom, we got handled. Move on with life. Okay? So it was the skill. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. So you need the skills. But you first going to have to grab your balls. And if saying balls offends you, then good. If it pisses you off, I'm saying balls, then good. Because that's what you're going to have to do, men and women. All right? I don't know what to call for women. I, I don't know if you can grab your breasts or not. I don't know if that's a, but you, you know what I'm talking about. Okay? I'm going to put balls and quotation marks in the title so you know what I'm talking about. Okay? Because you need to do this right now. Wherever you are right now, you need to make changes right now. You need to move your ass right now right now even while i'm talking to you right now and you need somebody like this to talk to you i talk just like to my clients oh coach oh i'm like shut up shut up that's not gonna get you where you want to go what's gonna get you there is taking action well how much is that gonna cost it's gonna cost as much i can do that yes you can all right yet yeah, you can do that yes you can all right so if, if you if you're ready to make some moves wherever there's a link click click on it click on it let's go all right we're here to help you get to that next level financially and and it is it game over game over it is it is time it is time all right so hope i ruffled your ruffled your feathers today hope you got pissed off today hope you're ready to make some changes today all right and if you're not hey maybe later on but if you are i'm talking to you i'm talking to you so this is coach mt i'm here to coach all right you're not gonna always like your coach and when I was when I was playing sports, I didn't always like my track coach. I did not. I hated my track coach, but I loved it when we won. I loved it. All of the heels and 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 carrying boulders and flipping tires and and all the miles after miles after miles and miles and miles. I'm telling you, even, I never forget, even in high school, after my mother passed away, my mother passed away when I was in high school. All right, and my coach gave me two days. On that third day, so I heard, I know you hurting, but you, you, we got a job to do. And he said, you're going to work through this hurt, through this process. And there, 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 there's some things in it that really helped. I was able to, I, I, he helped me focus. He really helped me focus. He said, when we hear track practice, we had track practice. You, you, you could hurt for your mom after track practice. And I, I, I was like, I can't believe he's saying this to me. I can't, I can't like, did you know what just happened to me? I'm, I'm, I'm a 17 year old kid. He said, we had track practice. He said, any pain you have and use it on the track. And I had one of the best ending seasons ever in the history of my high school career from going for my junior year and senior year because my coach put it on my ass. I hated him for it. Oh my gosh. But I loved it and, went, and it allowed me to go on to the next level to run at the next level as well too. I thank my coach so much for that. So I'm him. And if you don't like it, don't click on the link. All right. If you, if you if you ain't ready to make those moves, then you go to, to to the baby stuff and you sit over in the baby pool in the kiddie pool 
Remember, remember little kiddie pool? You sit there, the water comes to your thighs. You go sit over there. If you're ready to jump into the nine feet and you never swam before, hit the link. Coach MT, I'm out.